Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now today I want to show you how to detect and edit tempo in Cubase 9. Now this can be very useful if you're in a situation where uh, you don't have the tempo of a recording. Uh, for example, you, uh, you have the recording of a band that recorded themselves without the use of a click track. So having the tempo of the song can be very useful in a mixing situation and in a recording and production situation as well. So uh, let me give you an example here. I have a multi-track drum recording that wasn't recorded recorded on a click track. So let's have a listen. All right, so now you have the click on the tempo um, by default is at 120 BPM in, uh, in Cubase. And we have the, uh, the drum recording that wasn't recorded at 120 BPM. So that's why the drums are way off compared to the click. Um, so now what I need to do here to, uh, to detect the uh, tempo of this drum recording. First, I'm gonna select one audio segment. I'm gonna use a room, uh, one of my room tracks since I have all the drums on this track. So I'm gonna select it and go into project and down to a tempo detection. Now I'm gonna have the tempo detection panel opening up. I'm gonna first click on analyze. And now Cubase just created a tempo track and a signature track, which I'm gonna bring on top. Okay, I'm even gonna open the divide track list. Okay, so they stay on top and I can drag and up and down my tracks and still seeing these two signature and tempo tracks. Now, first, what I need to do here is to um, go and look for my downbeat. There you go, that's the downbeat. And I'm gonna create a, uh, another signature here, two, a 4-4 four, four signature. Now the tempo is controlled by that tempo track. Okay, if you notice right here, okay, if we uh, play it again, just notice that the tempo is moving from uh, 89 to 91 BPM in average. So this is how you have Cubase detecting the tempo of your recording. Now, I'm gonna go a step further and edit the tempo itself and have the audio tracks follow the tempo change, okay? So to do so, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all of these tracks. I am gonna go into audio, and I'm gonna go in advanced, and then in set definition from tempo. So what's gonna happen here is Cubase is gonna write the tempo directly on the audio. So you can set the definition in the project only or directly on the audio files. I'm gonna leave that to project only. So we see these two symbols here at the end of uh, the waves, the quarter note and the warp symbol. So now we're gonna apply some tempo change. So let's select this bar, for example, I just like two bars, okay? Let's, these two bars bring the speed up a bit and listen to what that sounds like. Pretty cool. Um, let's say I just wanna bring everything to 90, okay? I can do so. I'm just gonna delete all the tempos here and bring this one to 90. There you go, 90 BPM. Now everything is gonna be played at 90. So now let's increase the tempo a bit. Now it sounds pretty good. Now uh, Cubase is using the Elastic 3 Pro algorithm, okay, for the time stretch, uh, which sounds very, very good, okay? So um, you don't, especially when you speed up the tempo, um, it's very hard to, uh, uh, to, to hear some weird artifacts and stuff. You know, if you slow it down, at some point it's gonna be a bit more noticeable, but um, I'm telling you, it's pretty, pretty cool. So let's bring the tempo slower this time and listen to what that does gonna bring it down to 75. So from 90 BPM to 75 BPM.
okay, you can hear a bit of weirdness going on, but it's at a minimum level, okay? So it's pretty impressive with that Elastic 3 Pro algorithm going on here. So um, this is what you get if you want a tempo change and edit the tempo in Cubase and have all the, the tracks and all the recording follow the tempo change. So this is basically it, guys. A very simple to use, very fun to use at the same time. Now, if you have any questions and comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.